Today we're going to show you guys a couple drills that you can implement in your practice or warm-up or hitting session, whatever you like to do, to improve your touch and your ball feeling. So you start really close to the net and it's really important to learn how to slice and how to control the ball when you're actually closer to the net because a lot of people know how to hit from the baseline but once it comes to like simple put away shots at the net they tend to over hit it or not not knowing what to do with it so we're going to show you right now go a little bit further so when you start you just start really close and you just practice your drop shot you try to slice the ball it's not as easy as it looks you'll really have to learn how to feel it and then try to move your racket smoothly through the ball the smoother you do it the better it is if you can make the ball drop right behind the net that's what you're aiming for so you want the ball to go a little bit up and then down Daniel, try to move your racket through the ball a little bit. Yes. It is very important to change the directions. And once you play it straight ahead, try to play along the net, like cross court. Make sure you get your racket under the ball and kind of place it to the sideline. Try to get the ball as close to the net as possible. Make sure to do this on both sides. The forehand and the backhand are just as equal important. If you only do it on the side that you do it better on, well, then you won't learn the other side at all. Now I'm standing closer to the net, Danielle is further, so she's gonna try to drop shot the ball and I'm playing a little bit further to her. So this way, she's gonna learn how to drop shot. She has to make the ball bounce in front of me. Every time you're learning something, it's better to start with slower pace, just to develop touch and feel and feel comfortable that you can control and send the ball wherever you'd like. And it's okay to miss as long as you're trying to do the right thing. Danielle, give it a little bit more backspin and try to go more with like an arc up. And so the ball stops after the bounce. Yes, that's better. And now try to get it shorter. Good. And of course we do it on the backhand as well. Once we warmed up our slices, now we're gonna play a game with a little bit of movement to try to control and place the ball. We're not allowed to take the ball out of the air. We're allowed to take it only with a bounce and play slices only. So we cannot hit topspin. And preferably, this game is not about hitting hard and overpowering your opponent. It's about placing it and making them move. So that way you learn to control. That way you can make your idea come true when you actually play a match so that if you wanna, hit your target, you actually do it and not hit into the other direction. So let's see. So we put the ball on the net and then we start. something like that. The next progression with slices and touch is to take the ball out of the air and just nicely and easily play volleys to each other but try to hit them a little bit from under giving them a lot of slice. So we try to keep the ball low
go a little further. You're and let's try to like send it back and forth to each other, okay? okay. Yes. It is important when you play your volleys that you actually approach it as a shot and not just blocking them. So you also need to develop that touch when you play volleys. That way you feel comfortable when you come and play to the net. Try these exercises, they will really increase your touch, your feeling, and you will feel way more comfortable on a court. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon.